today we'll be talking about beams. What are beams? So beams are elements such as the one I have here, whereby when bent, will undergo both tension and compression. What does this mean? Have you realized that the top of the element here, these springs have become closer together? That means that these are in compression. Have you realized that the bottom have moved further away from each other? This means that these are in tension and therefore compression and tension in the bending of a beam happen at the same time. But the shape is going to depend on the connections at the supports. So let's imagine that we have a pin support on one side and a pin support on the other. When we apply a load, a point load in the middle of our beam, have you seen how the beam deflects downwards? Yeah, there is a vertical displacement at the center. And this occurs because there is a rotation at both ends, which form this shape of the beam. Let us now see what happens when we put one of the connections to be a fixed connection. So on one side we have a fixed connection, on the other side we still have a pin connection. When we apply a point load in our beam, we can now see that the shape has changed. The shape on the left hand, on, on the rigid side, rigid support side, is still 90 degrees, whereas the, the, the rotation on the pin end side has changed. Therefore, the bending action, the bending shape, or the reflected shape of my beam, has now changed. This is known as a fixed support, and this is known as a pin support. Let us now assume that we have a fixed support on all sides. There we go. Again, we can see now that the shape of my beam when deflected is going to vary because now we have a fixed support on one side, a fixed support on the other, and when I apply a unit a point load in the middle, then I will not have any change in angle at the supports because they are rigid connections and therefore these are going to be taking moments inside my supports. Last but not least, what happens if we have, for example, cantilever? In a cantilever, due to a weight at the end of the cantilever, if I let this go, we will see that there is bending happening. But whereas before we had compression at the top and tension at the bottom because of a sagging moment, now we have the reverse. We have tension at the top and compression at the bottom, and this is known as a hogging moment. Thank you.